Isiolo is one of several counties that have borne the brunt of insecurity over the years and in a bid to cultivate a lasting solution in the Gateway County to neighboring countries of Ethiopia and South Sudan. The Senate Committee on Security is currently engaging stakeholders in an inquiry aimed at establishing causes and possible sustainable remedies to perennial insecurity. I'll come back and meet the county government to also get their views. In the afternoon, tomorrow, Monday, Sunday, we'll also come. And we hope to meet uh, women, elders, and uh, opinion leaders uh, about the security here and what they think is lacking and what they can do in making sure that uh, people live in harmony. Committee Chair Yusuf Haj says security teams in the northern Kenya regions, counties must beef up security, enhance surveillance, especially along the border points to cap proliferation of small arms into the country. We have been given a very good brief by the county commissioner and uh, we hope that uh, when we go back we will make our report to the government to try and resolve some of those issues. Meanwhile, youths returning from Somalia after being lured to join the militant group Al Shabaab have been urged to surrender to Kenyan authorities. Lamu County Commissioner Joseph Kanyiri is warning that without the necessary rehabilitation, the youth pose serious security challenges, having gone through rigorous terror training in Somalia. Kuna mengi wameapitia katika huo muda wamekua kule Somalia. Mafundisho ya kutumia siraha, sana za kivita, wengine kutengeneza viripuzi, wengine mambo ya kiujasusi, mambo ambayo yanaweza hujumu usarama wa nchi yetu. Manake national security, tungependa kama serikali kunongonezana na wao, tufahamu wanayajua, na kisha tukakaa pamoja na kuweza kurehabilitate wao. Lamu County has had its fair share of attacks by the Al Shabaab, a situation that has seen the government step up operations in Boni Forest to flush out remnants of the terror group.